Okay, word problem. Right triangle application. Uh, take a minute to copy this down. I'll read it. From a point at street level, 525 feet from the base of the center of a building, two angles of elevation are measured. One is to the base of an antenna on top of the building, 49.5 degrees. The other to the top of the antenna, 55.6 degrees. Find the height of the antenna. Okay. So now that you've written that down, thought about it for a second, let's draw a picture. Okay, we always want to draw a picture. So I'm going to draw a picture of this situation. Um, so let's go ahead and draw. From a point 525 feet from the base of the building. Okay, so I need a building. There's my building. There's the street. Okay, so from a point at street level, so it's somewhere down here. Here is at the street level, 525 feet from the center of that building. All right, so that is that distance there. Okay. There's also an antenna. One thing I did say in the words of where the antenna was exactly, we're going to assume it's in the center. Okay. So you can add that to the word problem. The antenna is in the center of the building as well. In other words, it's got to be directly above that point for our for our purpose. There's my antenna. Okay. So from here you're measuring two angles of elevation. That of course is going up. One of them is to the base of the building, or the base of the antenna rather. Okay? And that was measured to be 49.5 degrees. And the other one's to the top of the antenna. Okay, so that's right there. Measured to be at 55.6 degrees. Okay, I'm just going to draw a line down here to complete my triangle. And we're assuming that's a right triangle. Okay. So the question is find that height. How are we going to do that? Well, here's the idea. Okay. You have to be able to split this up into two triangles, right? Two triangles. What do we have information on those triangles? I got one leg of a right triangle and an angle. So at 49.5, if I pull this inner triangle out, okay, so let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to pull this inner triangle out, that is this. Just draw it a little smaller. Okay, that's this little triangle pulled it out, that's that. I'm going to draw the bigger triangle over here. And that angle is going to be a little bit bigger. That's this angle here, 55.6. Okay. So picture that if you can. My pictures aren't very drawn very well to scale, but this is the inner triangle. That's the bigger triangle. So think about it. Where's my antenna? The antenna is basically up there. Okay. I scaled it down a little bit. Uh, so what I need to do is find that leg of this right triangle, that leg of that right triangle, which I'll call Y, and then subtract, right? So this is Y in this picture. This is an X. If I subtract X from Y, subtract this distance from this distance, then I'll get my answer, the antenna. Okay? So basically what I have to do is find this side doing some right triangle tree, and this side and subtract one from the other. Okay, so let me give my antenna a name, call it A, right? So A is going to be Y minus X, right? So, which trig function am I going to use here? I got this angle, I got this side, I got this side. This is the opposite side of this angle, this is the adjacent side of this angle. You should be thinking tangent. The tangent of that angle equals opposite over adjacent. That's the equation I need to solve to find x. So multiply both sides by 5, 2, 5. times the tangent 
of 49.5 degrees and 615 feet. Okay, that's that distance, 615. That is this distance, the height of the building, 615 feet. Okay. Now, what is Y represent again? Y is the height of the building plus the antenna, the distance from here to here, which I drew, just separated that triangle. And I'm going to use the same function, the tangent function, right? Because I got the opposite side and the adjacent side. Okay, so basically I'm going to set up the same equation using that angle to find Y. Opposite over adjacent. Okay, solve that equation. Multiply both sides by 525, and I got y. All right. If you do that and skip right to the answer there, she should get six, six, seven, sixty-seven feet. Okay, seven hundred sixty-seven feet. I round. Uh, your your calculator is going to give you decimal, so I round it to. Three significant digits, right? That's what it was given. Okay, so the distance of the building is 615 feet. The distance of the building plus the antenna is 767 feet. So to get the antenna, I subtract one from the other, right? So the antenna is going to be minus 615, which should give you an answer of. Okay. 